This is a violin and this is a shoulder rest. It helps support the instrument while you play it. This is an ASR, an active shoulder rest. It has a few speakers built in, as well as a couple actuators on the inside that vibrate the violin as well as your body. It turns your violin into a speaker. The way you use this is you put a pickup on your violin, then process the sound. You can put it through some guitar pedals or some effects on your computer, and then play it back through this, and that means that the sound comes out of the violin. right now is the violin being turned to a synthesizer, which is one of the things that you can do with an ASR. It's tracking the notes that I'm playing and then using that to generate a second melody that comes out of the violin. All of this is improvised and computed in real time. We're running a research and outreach project that brings ASRs into music organizations for underserved youth. We just had an amazing first meeting with Rosie's House, which is a music academy in Phoenix, Arizona, that offers free lessons to children and adolescents. Wait, 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 let me get this set up. I didn't know it was going to be this awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. That is, yeah. I think my favorite moment was when one of my undergraduate students who's learning to play the violin for the first time picked it up with the active shoulder rest and he was apprehensive at first he wasn't sure what to do and then he plucked the strings and then the light in his eyes he just got so excited and just looked like <laughs> Oh my goodness, I just did that. And then he kept playing and he kept trying things. Um, and, and as more effects were added, he just kept going. And the student like went on to improvise. He was just playing around, experimenting, and he was so excited to see what that looked like. He, he almost didn't want to stop. Learning an instrument's hard. <laughs> like We sometimes forget that, that it really is a challenging thing to do. And especially when you're young, when you're a child. Um, so if we can make it fun and make it exciting and make it so that they really want to keep trying new things, I think that's one of the most important things we can do as teachers. It has some really interesting potential in helping us rethink what, how might we teach with this instrument. What should happen first? Could you pick up the violin with the ASR and start somewhere else and start with some other approach? Often they follow a very standard set of patterns where at some point they're playing Mississippi Hot Dog or Go Tail Aunt Rody and things of that sort, which for some students can be motivating and for other students might not be as motivating. Being able to um, make amazing sounds with even the most basic techniques is not just motivating, it just completely expands what might occur in a music lesson or in a music project. I see the ASR really expanding the possibilities in terms of bridging arts and sciences in ways that feel right, that feel good, that are equitable and ethical. This is really, really exciting part of the project that it's not only students that are experiencing the surprise. So also we are enabling the teaching artists to experience something that surprising to them and they have to figure out their way. And uh, that kind of insights into their problem solving now, how, like how do they utilize a tool like this that creates the surprise for the students in many different ways and again and again because it has a dimensionality that enables a different kind of surprise. 